But first, another coffee stand robbery tonight, the second in two days. This time, the robber displayed a gun as he took money from the Jitters Java and the 2100 block of Northwest Boulevard. KXY Y4's Ian Cole was on the scene as officers investigated. He joins us now live in the studio. Ian, do police think this is related to the robbery from yesterday? Well, Aaron, it's too early to tell at this point, but investigators say they're working with all the evidence they have, including surveillance video, to try and catch the man responsible. Around 6.40 tonight, police say a white six-foot-tall man robbed the Jitters Java coffee shop. He showed his black handgun and demanded money, which he got away with on foot. He was wearing a dark ski mask and dark clothes uh, while a gun was displayed. Fortunately, no Police started a canine track of the neighborhood to the south, but no luck. It's the second robbery of an espresso stand in as many days. Yesterday morning around 6.30, detectives say this man ordered a coffee and demanded cash as well at the Mugshots espresso stand. He also got away on foot, but it's too early to tell if it's the same suspect. I'm assuming the detectives will also be uh, looking at that one against this one. I, I'm not in a position to say that it's the same person. Uh, make any other connections. Others in the neighborhood are on high alert. The manager of a nearby coffee stand heard the news and shut down her shop early. Just to make sure that our girls were safe and that he wasn't coming, you know, down the line towards us. And investigators say in each of the last two robberies, the clerks did the right thing by not fighting back and being good witnesses in a terrifying situation. Their safety is foremost in our mind. Money can be replaced. Uh, the employees can't. A Spokane Police Department say that they are also investigating another armed robbery, this time of a Jimmy John's delivery driver tonight. That happened at the 1800 block of South Riverton around 515. They're asking anyone who knows anything about these crimes, call Crime Check at 456-2233. Ian Cole, KXLY4 News.